Good evening. I'm Warren Bell. And I'm Margaret Dubasson. The House of the Lord becomes a temporary home for a newborn. Good news for some of New Orleans' finest after they were heard in the line of duty. And if you're tired of seeing litter around the city, you aren't the only one. Those stories and a lot more on News 8 at 6 next. Celebrate Kirschman's Home Fest 92 with a store-wide celebration. 20 to 50% off the finest names in furnishings. Celebrate and save during Kirschman's Home Fest 92. Hail, damage, sale. A hailstorm damaged many of our new Hyundais and used cars. Every car will be drastically discounted. Hurry, pick a car with only minor damage. Save at our hail, damage, sale at LeBlanc Hyundai. See the world-renowned Polish Bikini Team this Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. only at Donald's Boots in the Belmead Plaza Shopping Center, 605 Lapelco Boulevard, Gretna. 500 years ago, an intrepid band of sailors led by Christopher Columbus sailed three ships across the vast Atlantic Ocean to discover what is now America. Today, another brave group will make the same historic voyage in authentic replicas of the Nina, Pita, and Santa Maria to dock at New Orleans' Woldenberg Park. On April 3rd, 4th, and 5th, come share this part of history with the Louisiana Quincentenary 500, a gala festival of food, live music, and celebration honoring the 500th year anniversary. Come be a part of our history. WVUE News 8 is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. This is WVUE Channel 8. Tonight, it's the award-winning news team of Margaret Dubasson, Warren Bell, Ron Swoboda with sports, and Bob Breck with weather. Live from WVUE, this is News 8. The shocking death of a seven-year-old girl. Good evening, everyone. That's our top story on News 8 at 6. Her name was Shabli Kasten. She died this morning after being scalded over more than half of her body. News 8's Joe Jardina has been following the story all afternoon. He joins us now. And, Joe, has anyone yet been charged in the death of this child? Not at this time, Warren. But at this point, detectives are still gathering evidence and indicate charges will be filed at a later date. Investigators spent the afternoon at the child's home. They were looking for evidence of possible child abuse at 3237 Leonidas and the death of seven-year-old Chablis Caston. They took pictures and water samples from the bathtub. Her parents, Sonia and Douglas Sumner, claimed Chablis suffered a seizure while taking a hot bath Sunday night. They rushed to the Children's Hospital where she died Wednesday. The child was brought to Children's Hospital on Sunday and uh, as you know she died uh, on the 1st of April. And based upon some of the information we gathered and uh, some of our own observations, we, there is a suspicion of child abuse. The coroner's office concluded Chablis died from skull burns and infection. Her parents told me they did not harm their child, that she apparently suffered a seizure, and when they looked further, she suffered severe burns from the hot tub water. Now, Chablis was in second grade at Lafayette Middle School. She was a 4.0 student, and teachers say she was a well-adjusted child. But right now, police are trying to find out if the girl died as a result of child abuse. Okay, child. Another sad story about a child. This one was just hours old when she was abandoned on the steps of an uptown church. Tonight, New Orleans police say they still have very few clues regarding this infant. News 8's Lee Stevenson has been following her story. She joins us now from the newsroom. Lee, what's the latest on this case? Well, Warren, this story has a happier ending than beginning. Doctors at the Medical Center of Louisiana say the baby girl is doing fine now. The State Child Protection Agency, which has custody of the baby, is not permitting her to be photographed. About the the only clue police have is this is a 3 by 5 index card found with the infant. It indicates the baby's name is Andrea Ladale. And the mother says she did not want to throw her baby away and asks whoever finds her to make sure she is in good hands. Police found the baby about 10 last night on the steps of Trinity Episcopal Church on Jackson Avenue. Temperatures dipped to about 51 last night and the doctors say apparently she did not spend a long time outdoors. And apparently she was also not born in a hospital. My the best guess is that this probably was a home birth and then the uh, child was left on the steps of the church. Probably not for a long period of time. Her temperature was low, but she was not profoundly hypothermic to the point where she was in any danger or any distress. Dr. Gill says the baby girl is beautiful and bottle, bottle feeding normally and appears to have no physical problems. Police in the meantime are trying to locate the mother. Warren, Margaret? Okay, that's Lee Stevenson reporting live from our newsroom. Students at O'Perry Walker High School paid their last respects to a murdered classmate today. The memorial service for 15-year-old Jomo Kenyatta Joseph was held at the school's auditorium this morning. 
Students were noticeably saddened and comforted each other as they left the service. Joseph was gunned down at the school Tuesday. Two students were arrested in connection with that murder. Warren? Margaret, a 17-year-old is dead after being gunned down inside one of the city's housing developments today. Police say Bobby Davis was hit several times while he was riding his bicycle in the Magnolia Project. They have no suspects or motives for the murder. If you have any information that could lead to an arrest, Crime Stoppers is offering a reward. The phone number to call, 822-1111. Two weeks ago on News 8, we reported the arrest of a Lockport man for the murder of his wife eight years ago. Dale Godet allegedly killed his wife, Connie, and buried her body in the yard of their Lockport home. In that report, we also said Dale Godet moved into another Lockport home about a year ago. This is the house at 311 Fantastic Boulevard. Godet actually lived next door at 307 Fantastic Boulevard. New Orleans police officers who've been injured in the line of duty apparently will not be losing any of their benefits after all. Four police officers were decommissioned last week by the city, but an agreement between the city and the Police Association of New Orleans has now resulted in those four officers, including a 25-year veteran, Gilbert Johnson, being given back their badges. Last week, Pano had filed suit to block the city's decision to strip those officers of their powers. The police officers will not suffer any loss of uh, pension benefits or state pay. As a matter of fact, they've returned to their original status and hopefully everything will go all right. The four officers were each injured in automobile accidents while on duty. Are you tired of seeing trash line the city streets? If you are, you aren't alone. We'll tell you what one group is saying about it when News 8 at 6 continues. And you can really step back in time along the riverfront this weekend. I'll show you an encouraging satellite picture and what you should do with your clocks before you go to sleep this Saturday night. And are you surprised the shack has made his move? I'll tell you what it's all about next. These stories and much more as News 8 at 6 continues. Church's always features bigger pieces for little prices. Now get 12 mixed pieces of Church's chicken cooked hot to a golden brown and four golden ears of corn, all for only $9.99. So go for the gold. 12 pieces plus corn, just $9.99. Let's go to Church's, because it got a lot of what I like. 12 pieces plus corn, just the way you like it, just $9.99. Let's go. Hey, nice Italian suit. Thanks. I brought it at Barry Manufacturing. Pure wool, latest Italian design. Only cost me 136 bucks. I spent twice that much for this suit on sale. You save it, Barry, because they make their own quality suits. Like traditional style wool blends from only $99. And they stock short, tall, and big sizes. And the folks at Barry are real helpful. They altered my suit perfectly. Smile, everybody. Yeah, I get the picture. <laughs> you should have shopped at Barry. <laughs> Barry Manufacturing, America's best men's clothing value. You don't have to go far from your front door to see that New Orleans has a serious litter problem. As News 8's Robin Eckings tells us, local officials agree we need to clean up, but they still seem reluctant to tackle the trash. Pole pollution, signs tacked illegally along city streets, discarded tires, and even trash in the trees. Some parts of New Orleans look like a garbage dump. An informal survey shows area officials are tired of wading through litter, Taxpayers agree. The streets itself, I don't know about the garbage, you know, picking up the garbage, but the streets are dirty, and you can't blame the garbage people for that. That's just the city's got to hire workers, you know, just to do that. 
Activist Buddy Massa conducted the litter poll as part of his six-year effort to get City Hall to clean up its act. What we have here is motherhood, apple pie, and American flag. The problem is to get somebody to actually do something about it. Massa suggests the creation of a volunteer network to help government target violators of laws already on the books. City Council member Peggy Wilson prefers the rewards of a large-scale recycling effort. Nothing educates as quickly as learning that you can get money for something. So that might be the way to look at it. So far, however, efforts for a comprehensive recycling program have floundered in New Orleans. This is a brand new blueprint a special citizens panel has drawn up to prepare New Orleans for the next century. It calls for a strong litter control effort, but it too will be a waste if city officials ignore it. Our trash problem long ago became something that is no longer possible to ignore. It now sits on our doorstep demanding a solution. I'm Robin Eckings for WVUE News 8. Preservationists are working to see that New Orleans' historic jazz hotspots be protected for future generations. The Preservation of Jazz Advisory Committee gathered today discussing ways to protect Armstrong Park, for example, and its surrounding areas as what they'd like to see become a linear jazz park. Now, this project is still several years in the making, but with the support of the federal government, it has the potential to revitalize some portions of the city currently suffering from many years of neglect. If you're into history, you're going to want to make a trip down to Woldenburg Park this weekend. You can literally step back in time some 500 years simply by walking aboard one of the replicas of the ships Columbus used when he set sail from Spain back in 1492. News aide John Sherman joins us now from Woldenburg Park. And John, everyone says those ships are absolutely spectacular. I'll tell you what, Warren, they really are. I just stepped off the Santa Maria, and really what's amazing about it all is the detail that was used in making these ships. It is absolutely incredible to see. Now, a great, it really is a great way to celebrate the 500th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's voyage to America. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria sailed up the Industrial Canal early this morning. There they are. These ships really are almost exact replicas of the ships Columbus sailed to America on 500 years ago. They were built by the Spanish government at a cost of about, get this, $15 million. Interestingly enough, the original ships cost the government there about $15,000. But when you see the details on these ships, you begin to understand the price tag. The ships and 62 Spanish seamen set sail from Spain last October and came to America using the same route Columbus used. New Orleans is the fourth of 21 American cities, by the way, that the Caravelle will stop in. And the best part about it, of course, is that you can tour these ships by coming down to Waldenburg Park anytime this weekend through Sunday. The cost, we are told, is $5 for adults, $3 for children, and there's a lot of other things going on here at Waldemar Park as well, including arts, crafts, and a lot of entertainment, we are told, with a very global feel to it. So a lot going on down here at Waldemar Park, again, through Sunday. Back to you. All right. John, John, if you can still hear me, one quick question. Have you found out yet whether it's $5 per each ship or $5 to do the full tour? It's $5 to do the full tour. Now, the, the bad part about all this is that you will have to wait in line, though, for each individual ship. In other words, if you, wait, if you think you're going to wait in a single line and go through all three ships, that's not going to happen. But $5 does get you into all three ships if you can wait in the line. Okay. All right, that's John Sherman reporting live from the Riverfront. Coming up in sports now, we'll be checking in on the second round of the Freeport McMoran Tournament. And he's made up his mind. Ron's up next to tell us what's ahead for the Shack when News 8 at 6 continues. I looked for the first time at all these forms and said, I have no idea. h and Block is prepared for you. I was frightened, so I did go to H&R Block to alleviate a lot of pressure. It's a great feeling to help someone. She was so knowledgeable, I was totally impressed. I want my clients to feel confident about their tax return. We stand behind our work and guarantee your satisfaction. America's tax team, standing up for you. Direct from New Orleans. Introducing Popeye's new seafood platter. It's got Popeye's delicious Cajun poppin' shrimp, tender tasty catfish, secret recipe gumbo, our Cajun battered fries, fresh creamy coleslaw, and our new tropical fruit filled jello. Just $3.99. It's a platter full of flavors. Shrimp, catfish, gumbo, fries, coleslaw, and jello, all for only $3.99. Only at Popeye's.
Credit breakthrough! Credit breakthrough! Once a year, we loosen our credit terms and offer all name brand furniture at the lowest possible prices. Like sofas by Benchcraft. Your choice, beautiful fabrics, just $3.97 or $25 per month. Over the years, we've helped hundreds get furniture they didn't think they could get. Quality furniture, brand name furniture, and it's yours, quick and easy. Get your application today at Michael A. Bear and Winter West Bank, where we save you money! I got a phone! Just one look, and I knew, knew, knew that you were the only one. If you want to save time and money, all it takes is just one look in the real yellow pages. Just one look, that's all it took. Just one look, that's all it took. Ron's here with tonight's sports, including more from the golf tournament. But the big decision today was the big news today from the big man. Yeah, LSU. actually, you said he made it last Sunday. But by now, Warren, I guess everyone knows it's official, though most people had guessed it. Uh, LSU 7-foot, 1-inch center Shaquille O'Neal will try his lot in the NBA draft, where he should be the top pick there. I don't think any of this is unfortunate for him, because the NBA will make him a very wealthy and much happier basketball player. The announcement was made in San Antonio today in Texas with his mom and dad present. But this really, I think, goes back to an incident late in the season. I said it at the time that nothing made the point more real than when Shaquille was mugged by Carlos Groves of Tennessee in the SEC tournament. It made sense. He's barely 50% from the free throw line with nothing resembling an outside shot, so they hung all over him in college with no rules to protect him. So the Shaq uh, said the fight that followed had not angered him into a decision to leave. I'm not making this decision out of anger or frustration, but uh, everyone who saw the SEC tournament, they know that uh, injustice was done. And I wish they'd make a rule that uh, you know guys can't uh, quadruple and triple team, but uh, that won't happen. Uh, I got a uh, triple team so much uh, I wasn't able to uh, sh showcase my talent. That really wasn't the main factor. The uh, main factor was uh, if I go back to school next year, will I have fun? And this year, uh, I didn't have that much fun. And, uh, it's all about fun. And uh, my dad told me, at a young age, you're not having fun at what you're doing. It's time to do something else. Well, I guess when you're seven foot, one inches tall, uh, 20 years old, with major NBA talent potential, I guess it is all about fun. The money is going to be there. Shaq says he will finish his education, but right now he needs to learn how to play center in the NBA, and he really can't do that at LSU. Now, golf. It was cut down day at the $1 million Freeport McMoran Golf Classic, and with a host of quality international players in the field, it looks like an American, a defending champion with serious ties to our town, has taken the lead alone. Channel 8's Lionel Bienvenu is live at English Turn after a gorgeous day for golf. Lionel? Well, Ron, after yesterday's first round was played under chilly, windy conditions, today was just unreal. Beautiful day. A lot of golfers able to shoot low scores. The exception was Seve Ballesteros. Seve Ballesteros was one of the leaders after the first round. Today, he was one of only two golfers to hit the island green, the 15th, in two shots. But overall, Seve had a bad day on a beautiful day. I didn't hit my irons very good today. <laughs> Plus, you know, I chose the wrong club a few times. Tom Kite had one of the shots of the day on number nine. His approach comes to within a couple of feet. Kite is in at four under par. The weather turned off so nice this afternoon. The golf course was out there for us. But uh, uh, 69 on this course is, is never too bad a score, and I'm pleased. If Kite was pleased, Chip Beck had to be ecstatic. A seven under 65 today with this approach on 18. This might be one of the best shots I've ever hit into that green. Uh, I really didn't have a stance, and my ball was in a little bit of a, an old divot, and uh, I could have hit it in the water probably as easy as I hit it close. He then birdied the final hole. Beck is 12 under par, four shots in the lead. His round the result of a good ending and a good start. I started off birdie birdie and uh, made some good putts starting off, and uh, generally that's a good way to start the day. So Chip Beck, your leader, Ron, uh, he missed the course record by one shot. That was a 64 shot last year by... Joel Edwards. Reporting live from English Turn, Lionel Bienvenue, 
WVUE News 8 Sports. Thank you, Lionel. Let's go to our uh, full board for you right now from the uh, tournament out there. This is on cutdown day. Chip Beck, of course, four strokes in front of Brad Bryan at eight under par, a young pro, along with Jeff Maggard at seven under, alone in third. Greg Norman, Howard Twitty, Ed Fiore, a couple of veterans uh, not too far back of this thing. Uh, Seve Ballesteros at four under, along with Tom Kite, a couple of veterans who can get after you. Uh, Ian Woosnan, the defending champ, at one under. Ben Crenshaw at plus one. Plus one, by the way, is the projected uh, cutoff point in this tournament. So David Marchand at plus two, Hal Sutton at plus six. Looks like they are a buyer, as are uh, Kelly Gibson, Greg Lesher, David Toms, Emlyn Aubrey, Ed Seltzer. Robert Friend of an ex-LSU golfer, though, is at three under, and he is in the tournament. Okay, that'll do it. The weekend weather will start off a perfect 10. But Bob Breck is warning us it goes downhill from there. His forecast is next when News 8 at 6 continues. Here's two good reasons to go to Campo. We have the state's widest selection of name brand computers, electronics, and appliances. Only Campo offers express next day delivery. And here's one good reason to go to Campo today. Right now, get a Packard Bell 386SX computer system, complete with printer and VGA color monitor, all for just $12.99. Charge it with no interest or payment till August. But hurry to Campo. Price is good for a limited time only at every Campo. Courtesy Honda is the number one dealership in Louisiana, and in order to stay number one, we're slashing prices on every 92 Honda in our showroom. That's right, it's our number one deal. You won't pay over 11.5 for any Honda in our showroom. Accords and Civics all at our lowest prices ever. All vehicles clearly marked, no haggling and no pressure. So come in now for our number one deal, and remember, you won't pay over 11.5 for any Honda in our showroom. Only at Courtesy Honda, where I-10 crosses veterans in Mattery. My daughter Wendy said, Dad, it's time we cook up a great new chicken sandwich. I said, Wendy, I got a honey of an idea. We'll start with a whole chicken breast filet. Then we'll take honey and make up a special glaze with just the right spices. We'll call it our honey glazed chicken sandwich, and we'll be the only ones to have it. She said, Dad, you're always buzzing with good ideas. I said, Wendy, you do the sandwiches. I'll do the jokes. Make a beeline for Wendy's new honey glazed chicken sandwich for a limited time only. So I said you should go see my doctor at Auctioner Clinic, and she says I'm not that sick. She thinks that you only go to auction if a doctor sends you there for some terrible disease. I said, honey, Auctioner has been our regular doctor's office forever, and now they have all their neighborhood clinics to make it easier. <laughs> it's nice knowing that the place you go for ordinary things is so good that people come there from all over the world. Like they say, health care like no other in the world. I don't know about this meaning the weekend's starting off a 10 or good. Well, a lot happens. Does that mean it's No, gonna it's going to be okay. You don't, you got to do something with your clock this weekend. Don't do it today. You'll be late for everything well, My son figured that out. We have a weather uh -huh. school question that deals with the time change this weekend. Margaret, true or false, the whole country, the whole country will this change. No, no. Will change their clocks forward this weekend. True or false? Is it the whole country that goes to daylight time? Do you know? Well, we do, and we'll tell you in a second. This weekend, Saturday, tomorrow, looks gorgeous. Sunny, warmer. We ought to be back up into the 70s. Our normal high, 76, will be close. Now, on Sunday, starting out with sunshine early, but the clouds are going to thicken and showers late. If we're lucky, it'll be after dark. If we're not, they could be here sometime during the afternoon, and here is why. Now, remember, we had a little system move across the Gulf overnight. That has pushed eastward into Florida, brought down a little drier air. That's why we came out in the sunshine, as promised today. But as we've been watching all week, there's been that cutoff low out over the southwest. And here we go again with, you can see how the new subtropical moisture has already just about made it up to the Rio Grande. This will be overspreading the coastal area tomorrow. I think a beautiful day here tomorrow. But again, how much of that comes in on Sunday, I'm not quite certain. The guidance indicates this will kick out and be certainly over us on Monday. The best chance for rain will be Monday here. So, you know, this afternoon it's warmer up in Montana than it is down in Miami. 78 up in Montana at Missoula and Glasgow. Whew. Now the northeast is still going to be cold again tomorrow as a new surge is coming down, but that will not reach us. What will reach us, some of the high clouds just kind of streaking, making for a pretty sky tomorrow. 
And then the lower clouds arrive sometime late on Sunday, and that's when I think we'll get back into some rain. So hopefully it'll be a pretty decent weekend. Started in clouds this morning, but you'll see how those clouds have settled down into the Gulf of Mexico. And if you watch back along the Texas coast, they uh, kind of stay from San Antonio southward. But again, these will be creeping back over the coastal locations during the day tomorrow, so it will not be as pretty by e maybe even as late tomorrow afternoon along the coastal locations, but we should see an all-day sun here. 65 at Audubon, or rather out in Kenner today, the same up in Macomb. We ought to add maybe 5, 8, 10 degrees onto that tomorrow. Now, it was chilly this morning. In fact, some upper 30s on the North Shore, 46 Slidell, 51 at Audubon. I think we might even be a couple degrees colder than that tomorrow morning because we have no winds and clear skies. Now, our temperatures are generally in the 60s now, 58 in Slidell, cooler as you get across the lake. Humidity is very dry and no wind, so that's going to allow the temperatures to really drop off. Tonight, clear, comfy, cool if you have a jacket or a sweater on. Lows will be upper 40s in the city to lower 40s out away from town with light winds. Now, tomorrow we're looking for just gorgeous weather, plenty of sun that'll make it warm and dry. Use the sunscreen because you can get a sunburn within less than 15 minutes at uh, this time of the year. If you go out without it, it's getting to be an intense sun. A raindrop late on Sunday, the better chances of rain on Monday, and we could escape with a totally dry weekend, but again, some chance of rain will get in there Sunday afternoon, and then we get dry and warm up for the mid part of next week. Marine conditions, not bad. If you're going out early tomorrow, it should be no problem. Seas offshore one to three feet, they should increase on Sunday. Now, is it true or false? Is it the whole country that changed? Is there clouds? Well, some form? people are bound to forget, so it's got to be false. <laughs> well, actually, no. actually, it's some parts of the country do not observe. Of parts of Indiana and Arizona always well, stay knew on that. standard time. And I spoke to the AARP group, uh, American Association of Retired People, Chapter 389 in Algiers today. Hello. Good for you. All right, Bob. He sang his way into the Louisiana governor's mansion. And he may get new honors for his talent soon. The story when News 8 at 6 continues. Huh, look at this, babe. No purchase necessary. <laughs> you can't read. Wait, I can rent a cellular phone for only $9.95 a month from Radio Phone? Whoa, I want the Motorola Mobile for my car. Wait, the Motorola Portable. Then I can take calls. Beep, 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 beep. And go fishing. I need trout for dinner. Excuse me, the tote phone, man, it goes anywhere. Whoa! It's up to you, and you, and you. Rent a cellular phone from Radio Phone for just... Oakwood Mall. Oh, that's Fred. I'll call him later. Come on. You hungry? Come on. Not Aunt Martha again. She'll talk all day. With caller ID service from South Central Bell, you can see the number that's calling before you pick up. <laughs> Please let it be her. Yeah. Hi, hon. Everything's under control. Because you can't always drop what you're doing when the phone rings. So, uh, what are you coming home? <laughs> South Central Bell makes your life a touch easier. Call on us. Order now and save $22.99. Former Governor Jimmy Davis is up for some new musical honors tonight. The singing governor is best known for his song, You Are My Sunshine. He wrote that you about his horse. Davis did an impromptu duet with News 8's Robin Cohen earlier this year. And tonight, he's a finalist for the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. He's nominated for his contributions as a singer, a composer, and a publisher. You think Robin Cohen might get an additional mention in the award ceremony? She no, might. I doubt it. You never know. That's our news for now. We'll be back tonight at 10 with all the latest. We'll see you then. Good night. Another Home Depot certified advantage, the one-year plant guarantee. If you buy a landscape plant from us and anything goes wrong, we'll replace it free. And we have everything for your...